Good morning and welcome to SI Live's AM with Alex. I'm Alex Salmeri. It's Tuesday. We have a sunny day ahead of us. Here are today's top headlines. New York City has just over 216,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, bringing Staten Island to 14,187 with 893 confirmed fatalities. Here are some updates on the Staten Island Mall that's set to open during Phase 4. New air filters, increased signage, reduced hours, hand sanitizing dispensers, possible outdoor seating, and more will be part of the new normal for shoppers at the Staten Island Mall when the new Springville Shopping Center opens in the next phase. Even before Governor Cuomo announced that malls would need enhanced air filtration systems in place to reopen, Staten Island Mall management had invested in more than 100 high-power air filters known as MERV-13 filters. Jim Easley, mall senior manager, said the MERV-13 is similar to the HEPA filter. Apparently, that's enough to catch the virus. Every one of our common areas had these filters installed within the last week. In entertainment news, today Grimes Hill native Colin Jost released his autobiography titled A Very Punchable Face. Jost, who is most known for co-hosting SNL's Weekend Update, mentions the borough throughout the 33 chapters of his novel. To find out more about the book, check out reporter Victoria Priola's latest article. Here's a reminder that tax day is July 15th and we found four places you can file your taxes online. Due to the pandemic, Americans were given 90 extra days to file their tax returns for 2019. SI Live and the Advance researched some of the best national places to file your taxes, and we came up with these. HR Block, Tax Slayer, Tax Act, and eFile are some of the many last-minute options for filing. And lastly, be careful if your summer plans involve a trip to the beach. As scientists at the nonprofit group OSEARCH are tracking the path of great white sharks in waters not far from Staten Island. A shark named Caroline reached the surface of the waters off the coast of New Jersey earlier this month. The 12.9 foot, 1,348 pound female great white was pinged on July 1st at 9.10 p.m. traveling up the coast from North Carolina. To find out more about all of these stories, visit silive.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Practice social distancing if you go out and wear a mask. Stay safe and stay tuned for more updates.